Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to talk today about what makes the student successful. To start with, to start with, I will describe the effects of school size and teachers' influence. Then I will mention some efforts that students can do. First, I'd like to talk about school size to students. Mm. According to survey, the class size doesn't matter as long as teacher can handle the class. But this is only apply for an academic class and for an adolescent class. Children, on the other hand, need more personal attention. So for children, it's better for them to have smaller class size. Also, it's better for students to have a smaller class size when the class is not an academic class like a music or art class. Next, I'm going to talk about effective teaching. These are things the student teacher should have. First, the commitment to instructional goals. Teachers should their students show their commitment in their lecture to get attention from students. Second is knowledge of subject matter. Even though teachers are willing to teach students and devote themselves to teaching, it is not effective for students to learn if teachers don't have a knowledge of the subject matter. Third is preparation. When teachers prepare their class well, without hesitation or distraction, teachers can smoothly and thoroughly teach the class. Fourth is classroom management. The teacher should give the students clear, reasonable, and consistent discipline procedures. Without certain rules, the class will be hard to manage. And fifth is technical proficiency. This is related to tone of, tone of voice. A teacher can easily neglect the, this factor, but this is a, a huge impact for students upon learning. So, teachers should give lectures in a clear and organized <coughs> manner. Now, I will mention some efforts students can do to get better at school. Leisure time use is really important because <coughs> it can affect students' grade at school and psychological function and many other things. We can compare between students who have an extracurricular activity and those who don't. Students who have an extracurricular activity tend to have a structured schedule. They show high grade at school, low drop usage, low delinquency, low drop out rate, and good at psychological function. They are generally happy. On the other hand, students who cannot use time structurally show high drug usage, high depression, high earlier sexual behavior, and high trouble, and tend not to use time wisely. Mm. So it's better for students to 
have an extracurricular activity or make a um, structural schedule in order not to waste their time. And I will introduce the tendency of successful and unsuccessful students. When students face their task, they react either number one or number two way. What do you think who is more likely to succeed? What do you think? Number one or number two? Number one. Yes? <laughs> Students who desire to reach the goal are more likely to succeed in their school because they try their best to reach the goal and the other students, they just give up or put their efforts to reach the goal. And there are some more specific characteristics about successful and unsuccessful students. Successful students see their failure lack of efforts. They they see their failure because of their because they didn't try their best to and they tend to have a high control in their lives. To conclude, I think students' efforts toward their task is not only affect their school life, but that effort will also affect their job in the future and everything they do. I therefore suggest that we, our students, control ourselves <coughs> to have a structured schedule and practice hard to reach our goal. Many thanks for your attention. Now I try to answer any, any question you may have. <laughs>